Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Yinky, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a bustier curved dress with a yoke. And uh, this is the outcome. This is the outcome. This is the front. And we also have the back. The body, back is a kind of lace-up dress. The, it also has a yoke. And uh, back to the pattern, this is what we have. And the pattern has been used to cut out the dress, the fabric. And um, also the front is cut, the center front is cut on food, while the two side panels are also cut in two pieces. So back to the table, let's draft the pattern. So from, this is the measurement. The measurement of my student is shoulder 13, bust 9. When we talk about the vertical measurement, bust 9, under bust 12, half length 15. So first of all, take the shoulder measurement to the half length, which is 15. Then I also take the bust, which is 9, the under bust, which is 12. Then I took a straight line there. And here I took the upper chest, which is 2 inches above the bust line. And from there, I take I input the shoulder measurement, which is 13 inches divided by 2. And I took it both on the shoulder and the upper chest line. Then I use a straight line to input the arm hole length. Then from there, I took the nipple to nipple measurement, which is 6 inches divided by 2. So I have 3 inches here. I just input 3 inches here and draw it with a straight line. And after I have done that, the next thing to do is to input the neckline measurement so the neck width and depth for the front is three by three three inches by three inches so the shoulder slope is by a quarter of an uh, uh, half of an inch so i use half of an inch to slope the shoulder down then whatever i have here i divide into two to make sure my ammo curve is as neat and as accurate as possible so i'm going to input the ammo curve here then after I input the ammo curve because of the yoke that I'm going to input. So the next thing to do is to go back to the pattern here. Then input half of an inch inward here. I'm trying to create my bustier curve. Then here I go down by three quarter of an inch. Then after I have done that, I'm going to connect it with my straight ruler. Those lines that I just marked. Then after that, then I go to the other side. So this other side, you go more inward by one, one inch. I go inward by one inch so that the bustle will be formed accurately here. Then I'm going to use my curved ruler to bring out the shape of this bust here. Then use a straight ruler here. So after I have done that, you can see the shape of the bustle is coming out gradually. Then I'm going to take... On the upper chest line, I took one inch on both sides. One inch on both sides. I don't know what happened there. The, the, that the while I was editing, I editing this video, it skipped off. So on the upper chest line, on both sides of the dart leg, I took half half inch. Half of an inch is what I took there. And here is how to input the sweetheart neckline so you can go inward from the upper chest by one inch it depends on how you want it your bust to your cleavage to to get exposed so if you don't want it to be exposed you can leave it on the upper chest but if you want it to show a little you can go inward by one inch so i'm going to go inward by one inch here and connect it to the upper chest line and after I have done that, the yoke has been created already. Then I am going to just mark it out. I can shade it so as to know um, the part that is cut off for the yoke. Then the bustier has been created. And after I have done that, the next thing to do is to just calculate all my dart intake. I have one inch there. Then I'm going to add it to whatever measurement is on the upper chest. So here on the upper chest, I will input the bust circumference divided by 4, then add all the dart intake that I have. The dart intake here is 1 inch. I'm going to add it here so as to fill up for all the losses of the 
that intake. So whatever you take a that, you're going to add it up when you are creating, when you are adding your measurement. When you are putting your measurement, make sure you add it. So on the bus line, there's no that intake. And I have 34 divided by 4, which will give me 8 and a half. I'll just input it. Then go to the underboss. I have 29 inches for our uh, underboss circumference. So dividing 29 inches by 4 will give me 7 and a quarter. And I will add that intake of 1 and a half to heat. And that is what I'm doing right away. So here on the half length, I have 30 inches circumference. Then 30 divided by 4 will give me 7 and a half. That is what I just put. Then the dart intake is one and a half. Then that is what I just placed now. So right here, I'm going to connect it with my straight ruler. Connect all the measurements with my straight ruler. So I needed to take this measurement again. There was an error while I was taking it. So I have corrected it. And um, after I have done that, the sewing allowance of one and a half inch will be added all through. And that is what I'm trying to add. After I have added the sewing allowance of one and a half inch, I connect with my straight ruler like so. And uh, you're going to add sewing allowance of half inch on the half length, right, like right away. And after I have done that, on the shoulder, add half of an inch also on the shoulder. Sewing, sewing allowance of half of an inch will be added on the shoulder also. And um, on the arm O, sewing allowance of Half of an inch will also be added on the ham hole also. And we are almost done with our pattern drafting. You can see it's very simple. So I'm shading out the dart intake because this part will be removed. This part will be cut off while we are cutting. So I will just cut it like so and remove the part that is being shaded. So this part shaded for the yoke is will be used to cut uh, the tool part, the net part. Will be used later so after i have done that i will just cut it out in this way i'll cut it out like so so the first thing i removed is the yoke so after i remove the yoke i'll place it on one side then uh, the next thing is to remove the bustier pattern so the bustier pattern will be removed like this after removing the uh, the dart intake this is what we have so it's just the dart that made the bustier what the bustier is so what this is what we have so the next stage is the back so this is the front yoke that has been brought on the back paper so i'm going to trace out the front yoke like so on the back paper like this so the back you're going to just create all the vertical lines and the horizontal lines on the back. And the back yoke will go inward on the upper chest like so. So this is the upper chest. And I'm going to, I'm trying to check which of the pattern making tools that I can use to create the back yoke. So the back yoke will bend inward like so. So I'm using my pattern master to create the back yoke like so. So it's not like the front yoke that will be like a, a that, that will be like a sweet half neck. So this will bend inward to the upper chest like this. So the sh and the next thing is to just create the separate the um but loop, the separation, the spacing of the loop. So the spacing of the loop is three inches on the upper chest and one inch on the half length. And I will just connect it with a straight line. So it's very very easy to make this type of um, pattern because there is no dart. So I'm trying, I just try to label it and input the measurement. So all the circumference measurement divided by four has been input. Then I'm going to connect with my tool like this. So it's very easy. This is the best, the easiest pattern to make. Then I had the sewing allowance of 1.5 inches, the way we did for the front. So the only thing you need to create at the back is just the lacing space. So it depends on the style that you are using to space your lacing. So here I'm creating the ham mode. The ham mode that I've created for the front is what I input for the back here. So because it's a tool, it's kind of stretchy. That, that's why I'm using the same for the front and the back. And here is the zipper allowance, which is not necessary even in this tutorial. But for the purpose of learning, that's why I input the zipper allowance. So here the neckline has been input for the back. So I'm going to create another type of neckline here, like sewing allowance of half of an inch will be created here because of the hook that I'm going to put here. 
So I'm creating a part, a kind of, when you check the back neckline, there's a kind of O shape at the back. That's what I'm creating here. After you have input your normal neckline, you are going to connect it to the lacing space like so. So this will kind of form a whole shape at the back. When you check the video, the picture of the back, you will see this shape there. And this will be connected to the lacing space. So the lacing space will be cut off at the why we want to cut the fabric we're going to cut out the lacing space it's not useful so i'll be shading out the lacing space after i have cut out so the back yoke is like this and this is the lacing space that's where i'm writing lacing space so all those parts will be removed so but first thing is to first of all remove my yoke like so you can see the way i'm cutting it so after i've cut that I'll place it back and this is the shape it will look like and I'll remove the lacing space like this. So here we are going to add sewing allowance of half of an inch around all this pattern except for the side seam that will not have sewing allowance anymore. But this part will be will have sewing allowance of half of an inch. So after that this is what we have our pattern is ready the front pattern and also the back pattern then i will have used it to cut out the fabric and this is what i have i've added sewing allowance of half of an inch around the pattern so especially the center front i have sewing allowance of half of an inch round and here we are going to attach the yoke we also have sewing allowance of half of an inch and also on the yoke part you are going to add sewing allowance of half of an inch to the yoke where you are going to attach the yoke to the bodies and we've come to the end of this tutorial and I'll see you in my next tutorial.